Hello everybody and welcome back to Crypto Time. So today I want to do a little bit of a market review, like a market recap. I meant to do this video yesterday. I ran into some things that were time restricting and had to push it to today. But I want to talk about the pretty severe, cra excuse me, the pretty severe crash that we saw yesterday. Uh, we saw Ethereum drop down to I believe like 230, maybe even lower. XRP was down to the lower 20s. The entire market basically had a pretty huge crash besides Bitcoin. Bitcoin stayed pretty strong around 5.9, jumped back up to about 6.1 later in the day. Uh, but Ethereum crashed hard. If Bitcoin didn't exist, Ethereum would kind of be like the king of the market, right? Ethereum is like the number one altcoin. So obviously when it has huge crashes, the altcoin market will usually fall. I say usually. It's not Bitcoin. You know, it doesn't have the same kind of volume, the same kind of power that Bitcoin does. But in terms of altcoins, it's definitely king. So... With that being said, when you see a gigantic crash, a 15, 20% crash from Ethereum, you better believe that the altcoin market, the rest of the altcoin market is going to follow. Uh, and that's what happened. That's exactly what happened. We saw 10, 12, 13, 15%, a, a lot of double digit percent losses throughout the entire market, um, which is awful to see, right? Especially in the kind of market we've been in and the kind of market we've been sitting in, it was tough to see. But I want to talk about the reason that, that, that that's happening. Why I think Ethereum is in a bit of trouble. Now, I don't want to be bearish on Ethereum or act like I don't support Ethereum because I do. I actually hold quite a bit of Ethereum, so I'm hoping that it does very well. Uh, but in terms of its use, and I'm not going to say that this is its only use, but um, crowdfunding and for ICOs raising funds was a huge, huge spark in its volume come you know December and January of last year. If you guys remember, if you looked left, right, up, down, wherever you looked, you could see a new ICO coming out and advertising and raising 10, 15, 30, 50 million dollars all in Ethereum, which was really, really pumping its volume and, and thus pumping the price of Ethereum all the way up to about 1400. Uh, but since this market has crashed a bit, that's not really been the case because there's not, there aren't as many investors trying to get into these ICOs and trying to get into projects to 30x their investment or 50x their investment as it were in December when everything was going up, right? When everything's going up, whatever you invest in is going to go up 10, 15, 30%. And that was the case for a couple of months. And I think a lot of people got into ICOs. They probably got burnt on ICOs and you know they've kind of left the market. And that's why we don't see as many new products popping up. Um, so you know, back then when all of these projects were popping up left, right, and center, Ethereum was being used and the volume was being pumped astronomically because of all of these projects raising funds. And I'm not saying that being a fundraiser for ICOs is its only use. It's definitely a big use and it definitely adds to its volume, um, but it also has dApps. You know, there's other things that Ethereum is working on. Also, I believe that there was a pretty significant group um, that was very, I don't want to say bullish. They're, they're very uh determined to have ethereum switch over to proof of stake and i don't think that it's happening and i believe that there were rumors that that was why there was a huge sell-off and apparently a bunch of these groups and a bunch of these icos were selling off huge amounts of ethereum and that's what caused the 20 percent 30 percent crash i don't know if that's true again those are kind of rumors um but i do have a couple articles here that talk a little bit about it that i want to read something from this first one says all coins once again took a beating showing that the april and may bull market was a temporary phenomenon now valuations could go even lower for the recovery and for some altcoins the hope may never return which i actually agree with i think a lot of the coins that don't have strong use use cases and don't even have a product are going to kind of be tossed to the wayside but that's for another video uh, it says the bitcoin market price hovers just above six thousand for dipping below that level but all coins have seen even deeper cuts and we just talked about that uh that the entire altcoin market almost saw 15 to 20 percent losses yesterday or maybe it was two days ago now this market is or this article is a little more in depth and it says ethereum is still in the epicenter of the decline with a more than 15 percent daily decline as the coin quickly got below the 275 level just after violating the 300 violating the 300 support and even touched 4250 in early trading the second largest coin fell through key zones without even a blink and that, and that points to forced liquidations in the market. The coin is still on sell signals on both time frames, and traders still shouldn't enter new positions. Support is now found at 260 and 230, while resistance is ahead between 275 and 280 and near 300. Now, you know, the TA stuff, I'm not really a huge supporter of. That's what this article is saying. I'm not saying that. Um, you know, take that information as you will. But yeah, I, you know, I think Ethereum is in an interesting spot. I don't really know what direction they want to go and i don't know where they're taking the project and that's what i'm thinking now i'm not bearish on ethereum i'm just saying that a lot of their volume is kind of lost as these projects have dimmed down as there's the the market has kind of been flushed out a little bit in terms of the new icos popping up 
But that's my take on it, guys. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, I think a large part of this crash was definitely due to Ethereum being sold off so so uh, violently, or as that article said, so uh, what did it say? <laughs> Violating the $300 support. Um, so, you know, I'm not too worried about it. Again, things are recovering. Ethereum's on its way back over $300, which is a good sign. The rest of the market looks like it's recovering. Ethereum Classic is up 12% for God knows what reason. Something probably to do with Coinbase. Um, but, yeah, it looks like we're recovering. I'm not too... VeChain's up 30%. Anyways, I'm not too worried. Um, everything seems to be recovering. So with that being said, I also have a review for you guys. This is a sponsored review. Now, I'm not being paid to tell you guys to invest. I'm not being paid to tell you where to put your money. I'm just being paid to give you guys my honest opinion, my honest review of this project. So this is Crypto Ad Solution. So if you guys don't know, a lot of big players have been banning cryptocurrency ads. You know, Facebook did it. YouTube did it. I'm not sure if Twitter did. I know Google did, uh, which Google owns YouTube, but... Nonetheless, they've been banning cryptocurrency ads and marketing is huge. You can have a great product, but if you don't market it, if you don't market it well, nobody's going to know about the product. So um, this project is actually solving a real issue. Now, this video is eight minutes, so we're not going to watch it. I did watch it all the way through. If you guys want to come here and watch it all the way through, if you're looking to invest in this or if you're looking to get a better understanding of it, I would suggest coming and watching this video. Uh, but that's your own decision. Now, what it basically does is if you're a business or you're a product that's trying to get advertising or wants to get your product out there, they offer ad packages for you to purchase. But as well, they can also offer somebody who wants to just watch ads compensation for that. So you could literally come here, watch ads for, I believe it's like 70 seconds a day even, or as small as 70 seconds a day, and you can earn income. You can earn cryptocurrency. I believe you'd be earning CADS is their cryptocurrency for crypto ad solution, CADS. Um, and then you can exchange that for Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever you want to exchange it for, uh, which is a very interesting, um, uh, uh, why can't I think of the word? Very interesting model. I don't know. I'm stupid sometimes. A very interesting model uh, because it gives the everyday person an, an option to come and earn cryptocurrency just for watching. So if you have internet, you can come watch ads and earn cryptocurrency. Now, obviously, you're not going to earn you know, a full Bitcoin for watching a 70 second ad, but little by little, it'll build up as well as I believe they have a whole affiliate thing where you can. Uh, you know, refer people here and earn 20% of what they earn. And, you know, there's there's different options for you to earn cryptocurrency by watching ads. But it's really that simple. You know, you watch ads, you earn money. So here are a couple of their, their products. Now, I want to read two of these off to you guys because I think they're actually really interesting. The first one is the advertising package where it says advertising packages basically have two functions. The customer can buy them with CADS, which is the coin I just talked about, to generate traffic to a desired product and get higher quality clicks. They also generate passive income through our uh, sophisticated advertising cost reimbursement system. Sorry, I'm talking so fast. I'm trying to get through it quick. The customer participates in the advertising cycle after 24 hours and, cons and consumes at least 70 seconds of advertising every day. The advertising package, which is purchased for $50, uh, yeah, $50 in CADS, then generates 20% profit. The so-called advertising share and the commissions are distributed daily in CADS. So you can order the advertising product as a business trying to get advertising, and then people who want to earn CADS can come in and watch these ads. Uh, it, it says you have to watch for at least 70 seconds every 24 hours. Uh, and then also this crypto now there's uh, I don't I don't mean to skip these but I'm just to the two ones that I really wanted to get to you guys um, now this says there's tailored advertising plans where you target more of a specific audience uh, there's the advertising marketplace which is their marketplace for advertisements uh, it says the market the marketplace acts like a search engine and brings together advertising provider and consumer through an algorithm and then the crypto app solution now this is the other thing that I really wanted to talk about it says the crypto app solution offers a mobile solution and thus a mobile version of CADS which is awesome Apps like Blockfolio, etc. can be supplied with advertising traffic and customers. It will be a separate advertising system, which is similar to the advertising package introduced. This is planned for the year 2019. So they're going to be offering ads through Blockfolio and other cryptocurrency apps. But you as the uh, viewer or you as somebody who is trying to earn money through watching advertisements, you could just watch advertisements on your phone and earn money through your phone. So, you know, you're sitting maybe, I don't know, at the airport or something. You pick up your phone, watch a couple ads, earn some money, like... It's a good system. I'm not going to lie. You know, it's, it's definitely something that I would probably do, especially if I'm not doing anything and I can just go earn some CADs or earn some, um, you know, cryptocurrency to put into my wallet, whatever it may be. You know, it's, it's a nice option. So moving on, how to start. You can register an account. Uh, this is more of like the business is trying to set up advertising projects. Now, this is for generating income, which is what I really, what I really oh, my gosh. What I really wanted to read to you guys. It says, use our traffic to promote your online business and get extra returns from our ad performance program. Participate to our advertisement cycle program and get paid daily. That's what you guys want to do. Promote our products and get up to 30% commissions for lifetime. That's insane. Run a master node, which is 
yes, I'm glad that they offer mass notes because you know how into mass notes I am. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to get one. Now, maybe I can set up some kind of deal with CADS where I do another video or you know, I do some kind of setup or maybe and I can earn a master note or maybe I'll just buy one and show you guys setting it up. But I'm very, very interested in getting a CADS master note. Now, I'm not saying you guys to do that. I'm not telling you guys to do that. But I'm very interested in getting a CADS master note. So CADS team, if you're watching, I'm interested in getting a master note. Um, now, it talks a little about Stratus blockchain, how they're going to build off that. They want to build a decentralized uh, exchange as well, which is interesting. They talk about their master nodes. Uh, they talk about how it's 20,000 collateral, so you need 20,000 CADS in order to run it. Uh, their affiliate programs here, their wallet, uh, their wallets to download are here. White paper, light paper videos, more information about their wallet. Now, here's their pre-sale. They're in round one, or they're going to be starting round one in a couple of days here. Uh, and these are the specifics of their pre-sale. So, these are the different rounds. These are the different uh, variations of what you're going to get. So, round one, there's 2,500 available of their advertising packages for 25 USD each. There are 100,000 CADS tokens available for 25 cents each, and there are five mass notes for 45,000 each. Now, these are the rest of the rounds. Obviously, the specifics change a little bit, and the variables change around a little bit, uh, but it gets significantly more expensive as you wait. So, again, if this is something you're looking to get into, earlier is probably better. Now, I'm not telling you to invest. That's just my opinion. Here's the roadmap. Now, I do really like the roadmap. The roadmap is descriptive. It's not only descriptive, but I like these little tick marks, too, because you, you can kind of see their progress. Uh, now, each one of these has a little drop-down menu where they give, give more description on what they're talking about. So, this end of pre-sale shows you what they're doing, right? Coin, dis coin distribution shows you what they're doing. And I really like that. I love descriptive roadmaps. Descriptive roadmaps are the way to go. I'm telling you, if I see a project and there's four little ticks in a year and each one says one sentence or one line, it just it is not very enticing, right? Having a very descriptive, having, you know, clear progress we can see that's the way to do it so i do like the roadmap the roadmap is 10 out of 10 for me faq frequently asked questions you can come check that out and then there's social medias now something i want to talk about their social medias um is the fact that they don't boat uh, they don't boost anything right a lot of icos you'll see have thirty thousand twitter followers and they're five days old and it's like well where did those come from right how do you get those or they have like three thousand likes and zero comments you know they don't boost anything. And all of their traffic, all of their tweets are very organic. All of their social medias are very organic. So I like seeing that. I like seeing true, honest numbers. Um, so yeah, guys, that's Crypto Ad Solution. You know, their Discord is down here. Their uh, Bitcoin talk is down here if you want to check those out. But yeah, that's Crypto Ad Solution. Uh, overall, I'm going to give this bad boy, I'll say a 7.2 out of 10. I like what they're doing. I like the idea. I like the use case. Uh, it seems like something that's definitely needed in the market. Uh, marketing is definitely needed in this market. As we know, a lot of the marketing and a lot of the websites have been banning crypto advertisements. So I like the problem that they're solving. So overall, 7.2 out of 10. Now, again, I'm not being paid to get you guys to buy into this or to tell you what to do with your money. Hey, we got a mesh note uh, reward. But I'm not telling you guys what to do with your money. All I'm doing is reviewing the project. I was paid to review the project, but I was only paid to give my honest opinion, and I've done that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one. Hopefully, you got all the way through it. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, everybody.